Well, hello there everybody and welcome to this little video. Today we are looking at this computer. This is my Windows 95 box. Uh, the Compact Desk Pro yet. Oh yeah, the, the cool screen server just kicked in. Uh, <laughs> as you know, we installed Windows 95 on this. The installation is still not done because driver-wise this is a little a bitch to work with, but yeah, whatever. Uh, Windows isn't the point of this video. The point of this video is uh, Sorin OS. I, I heard about Sorin OS all the time. I never installed it once. And now I finally got around downloading it and um, yeah, trying out. But no, it's not the regular Sorin OS. This one is the, the Sorin OS Lite and it promises to run on old hardware like this. This is a Pentium 3 with a little RAM. I'm not sure how much it really has, so let's check. It's a long time ago as I... Oh yeah, 320 max of RAM. That's killer for Windows 95, but for any other operating system, for any modern operating system, uh, it isn't really the best. Now, that's why I need a little lightweight distro. I tried out here also NTX. That is also... Uh, uh, advertises at least to be... Uh, uh, really minimalistic and lightweight Linux image distro. Uh, the problem with it is though that it has troubles connecting to the internet and that is pretty bad because on Linux that is kind of the, the stuff I exchange data from because Windows 95 has yeah doesn't really want to read anything that I plug in this computer so <laughs> that is that is the whole point of you know having Linux on there. So I've got the partition. Um, of course, Windows can't see it, but then I always copy it over to the C drive in data right in there. And so I can exchange files between Windows 95 and, yeah, the modern world. Now, let's shut this down. Uh, the disk is ready, hopefully. And then we should boot from Sorry No S, uh, from the disk for Sorry No S. So it's uh, attempting to boot from the CD-ROM. In real, it's a DVD-ROM, but uh, the computer doesn't know that. It's never shipped with a DVD drive. Has been upgraded. I can hear it loading, so that's good. Oh yeah, that, that looks like Ubuntu, sorta, kind of blue, but Ubuntu style. And it's not Ubuntu anymore, it's Sorin OS 9 officially booting up. Oh, and uh, yes, I'm sitting on the floor. Uh, whatever, I am trying to answer this question that came up in the installation video of Windows 95, and that is, why the hell did you install Windows 95? Well, why not? I mean, who can say I have a Windows 95 machine at home? Nobody, so that's why I did it. Oh, no. The screen has come to the dark side. Oh, it's even darker now. Meaning off. Oh no, it's on again. What is going on? Hope, hopefully it doesn't crash. Hell. Ah, we get some interesting artwork. <laughs> Whatever that's supposed to be, it's uh, kind of looking cool. Kind of like a shattered windshield. Oh, and we're here at the very Ubuntu-like installation screen. It's kind of a little flat like uh, everything is today, um, design-wise. Not the biggest fan of that, to be honest, but it looks still pretty good. Let's do German so you guys don't understand anything. And install. I, I re I'm really curious how this old graphics card keeps up with uh, with this distro. I mean, it's a, it doesn't say anything with graphics other than it needs at least a graphics card that can do 640 by 480 so uh, that's not that high end but the other distros weren't really the, uh, the, didn't really have the, the best performance um, with uh, graphics. Oh, um, this is a little confusing there. I mean, yeah, it does have more than 1.9 gigs free, but 
What is this? Where's okay if on this computer there are more operating systems? Uh, I will just install it next to whatever that is. So meaning I will have three operating systems on this, which is nice. Oh, there we have the Debian, the other one. And then we have Soren OS, and uh, yeah, Windows is like not even there. And why can't I click install? I really do not seem to have a lot of luck with uh, installing stuff on this machine since the install is just locked up. That's not good. No. I have to wait all over again to let it boot. Oh, damn it. Alrighty, it's rebooted. Uh, I made it into the manual partition and um, yeah. Here we can see Windows 95 and or 98 or ME, it just sees these three. Um, this is the Windows 95 partition and this is where the Debian is located. So we will change that and man, why is it all the way up there? Ah, come on. We will use this as a root partition so that it knows where to install. The swap is going to be the same. It's more than enough. And then it should just install fine without any troubles. And then the old one will be wiped. I don't even need that anymore. It's like, uh, it would have been cool if it had three operating systems, you know. Alright, this is it. Everything okay, yep. And, uh... The Windows partition will be left alone and uh, can chill and get his new neighbor settled in. Well, we were talking about minimalism. Well, here you have your minimalism. This is so minimalistic that uh, it starts to piss you off. But thankfully, they have this little arrow there and so you can still check hopefully at least, uh, what's going on, oh, it's getting, uh, oh, thank you, wow, this is a huge window, uh, so I can only read the first, the date, and sorry, no ass, you be quitty, whatever that is, ah, well, I'm taking that back, it's minimalism, there you go, Mini minimalistic minimalism. Here you go. Dear mother of God, this copy is so long. I thought that was already the installation process, but now it's only installing it. There you go. So, if this operating system is lightweight, I'm Steve Farmer. All right, at half past eleven in the evening, this little motherfucker here finally decided to install yeah I'm a little pissed because uh, I froze up um, once and uh, yeah I had to do the whole thing again and uh, yeah I really hope this boots up now because if not I will just say screw that and yeah today I'm not gonna do anything anymore but if it does boot now I will just say you know what yeah, <laughs> let's let's figure that out if it happens. All right, moment of truth. Oh, wow, that that looks kind of cool. <laughs> Let us just quickly. Oh wow, that it. Okay, I actually thought that was a. Feature now. I just figured out that it's just lagging. Oh, no, it just put into Soren. Let's see if it does I mean it advertises as being lightweight, but from what I've seen now it nah Isn't really. Oh man. That's the login screen That is nice Yeah, we are here guys and this is uh yeah, nothing more than a fancy version of the LXT interface. If you would ask me from the first view, it just looks a little nicer, but 
The interface itself is uh, the same. Looks cool though. But yeah, I mean, haha, it's kinda just LXD. <laughs> It seems to be LXDE just not lightweight. That is a shame. I mean, that's from like my first couple of seconds using it. Maybe that improves, I don't know. I mean, of course, it's not plugged into internet. But this is, yeah, bad. You get a lot of lag. Yeah, I mean, if, if it doesn't run so good, why do they advertise it? with such low specifications I mean this would be horrible on like the minimum requirements but yeah whatever uh, I can that all I want is I go into the file manager and I make it a little bigger and I go here and I can access this damn folder no not this one the this one yeah, that's all I want. So that is that is nice. That is uh, that is cool. That works good. I mean, the system seems to be working, and yeah. So this is all actually we have to show. It's uh, <laughs> your average LXDE distro which is I I'm a little disappointed guys I actually thought this would be a little cooler than yeah just LXDE I mean it's not bad that it is that but I mean it kind of advertises oh sorry no s oh well at least it comes with wine pre-install that is good not that I would ever use this here but still kind of nice got no Libra office which is fine here I mean, there's not a whole lot on there. That's uh, it's not like dumped with a lot of stuff I would never use. Yeah, just your average stuff. Uh, it's pretty boring, actually. Yeah, so that thing is here. That's good. Well, I will just shut this thing down and uh, call this a day. But yeah. It works. I will try to use it a little more, but uh, for now I'm gonna just let it shut down. It installed for so long and it froze up once, so <laughs> I'm actually happy to not having to use this computer uh, for any longer. So yeah, this is it. Sorry, no S9 Lite. I don't know if I, I'll do another video. And uh, yeah, so see you in the next one.